groaning, twisting the pain, naked, bones out of joint, and nails through his hands and feet, with spit and blood running down his face, a crown of thorns pressed down on his head. The King of Kings and Lord of Lords took upon himself the responsibility for the sins of the men he had created. Because he died, we live. Because he suffered, we are forgiven. By his stripes, we are healed. No other solution to the terrible problem of sin can be found in this world. This is the gate to the kingdom of heaven, a narrow gate, the Bible tells us. And there are very few who find it. No wonder that Christians love their king. On the first day of unleavened bread, when they sacrificed the Passover lamb, his disciples asked him, Where do you want us to go and prepare the Passover so you may eat it? So he sent two of his disciples and told them, Go into the city, and a man carrying a water jug will meet you. Follow him. Wherever he enters, Tell the owner of the house. The teacher says, Where is the guest room for me to eat the Passover with my disciples? He will show you a large room upstairs, furnished and ready. Make the preparations for us there. So the disciples went out, entered the city, and found it just as he had told them and they prepared the Passover. When evening came, he arrived with the twelve. Before the Passover festival, Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world to the Father, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. While they were reclining, and eating, Jesus said, I assure you, one of you will betray me, one who is eating with me. They began to be distressed and to say to him one by one, Surely not I? He said to them, It is one of the twelve, the one who is dipping bread with me in the bowl. For the Son of Man will go just as it is written about him. But woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would have been better for that man if he had not been born. The disciples started looking at one another, uncertain which one he was speaking about. One of his disciples, the one Jesus loved was reclining close beside Jesus. Simon Peter motioned to him to find out who it was he was talking about. So he leaned back against Jesus and asked him, Lord, who is it? Jesus replied, He's the one I give the piece of bread to after I have dipped it. When he had dipped the bread, he gave it to Judas. Simon Iscariot's son. After receiving the piece of bread, he went out immediately, and it was night. As they were eating, Jesus took bread, blessed and broke it gave it to them and said, Take it, this is my body. Then he took a cup and after giving thanks, he gave it to them and so they all drank from it. Your heart must not be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. 
In my father's house are many dwelling places. If not, I would have told you. I am going away to prepare a place for you. If I go away and prepare a place for you, I will come back and receive you to myself, so that where I am, you may be also. You know the way where I am going. Lord, Thomas said, we don't know where you're going. How can we know the way? Jesus told him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Lord, said Philip, show us the Father, and that's enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been among you all this time without your knowing me, Philip? The one who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Don't you believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another counselor to be with you forever. He is the Spirit of Truth. The world is unable to receive him because it doesn't see him or know him. But you do know him because he remains with you and will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans. I am coming to you. If anyone loves me, he will keep my word. My Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our home with him. The one who doesn't love me will not keep my words. The word that you hear is not mine, but is from the Father who sent me. But the Counselor, the Holy Spirit, the Father will send him in my name, will teach you all things and remind you of everything I have told you. I still have many things to tell you, but you can't bear them now. When the Spirit of Truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth, for he will not speak on his own but he will speak whatever he hears. He will also declare to you what is to come. If the world hates you, understand that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love you as its own. However, because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of it, the world hates you. Remember the word I spoke to you. A slave is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they kept my word, they will also keep yours. But they will do all these things to you on account of my name, because they don't know the one who sent me. If I had not come and spoken to them, they would not have sin. Now they have no excuse for their sin. The one who hates me also hates my father. If I had not done the works among them that no one else has done, they would not have sinned. Now they have seen and hated both me and my father. 
But this happened so that the statement written in their law might be fulfilled. They hated me for no reason.